What's going on YouTube community? It's Red X back with another Red X review of Epic Proportions and today we are taking a look at the brand new Sonic toy line. Yes, moving away from Jazzwares and into the hands of Tommy, we have Sonic Boom, a brand new cartoon series that is going to debut very soon on Cartoon Network and I for one cannot wait to see whether or not it's going to be good, whether or not it's going to be bad, whether it's going to get cancelled by Cartoon Network very quickly like all those other great shows that I watched. Only time will tell. But for now, let's take a look at the figure. So here we are. There it is. Let's get started. This is Sonic with Ripcord Wheel Launcher. Now, this is not the very first figure I got out of the Sonic Boom series. Instead, that credit goes to the Burnbot figure with another Sonic figure, which is pretty much the same figure as you're seeing right here. So let's take a look at the package real quickly before we get into this. Includes removable figure, as if... We didn't know already. Rip and launch. Some uh, French word. Pretty much saying the same thing, no doubt. Uh-huh. Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom. Sonic in the game right there with sticks. And some happy Japanese kid rip launching Sonic across some table. And then here are the other figures in this wave right here, which I would have had all three of these. Let's just go ahead, get them out of package, and see what the content holds for us in today's review, so stay tuned. Oh dear God, it's happening again. Am I supposed to believe that this is Tommy's take on the Sonic toy line? Or is this just Jazzwares disguising themselves as Tommy, because I know Tommy products. Tommy has done some great things in the past, some very great things. They even done those BattleBot figures. You know what I'm talking about. They came out not too long ago, as a matter of fact, and they sell like hotcakes. I've seen the quality on those things, and they're pretty good. I, this leads me to believe that this is not Tommy right here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This has got the proportions and the quality of Jazzwares here. I am not kidding. Check this out. Look very carefully at the Sonic figure. As you can see, he's got a bunch of creases in his spikes. I guess that's to be expected with the sculpt. But then he's got like cracks in so many places. Paint sloppiness over here across his eyes. And look at the eyes. Look very carefully. This happened to the very same figure that I'm going to review very soon. Um, the Burnbot line, the Burnbot set is what I meant. As you can see, it's pretty much the same Sonic figure. Only this one's got a better paint job, and this one uh, is a pretty beaten up mess. I mean, he's got like a mark right here across his eyes. Focus camera. The eyes aren't perfectly painted either, but look how they stand out from the body or his head. Look at that. This is a separate piece that's supposed to be glued on, apparently, and they just really, really messed this up big time. With Jazzwares, they got that right because that's supposed to be sculpted on to the actual figure's head, and his mouthpiece is supposed to be a separate piece. See, that works better. This, on the other hand, does not. This is weird looking. But... I'm not really seeing any other faults except for some more paint sloppiness at the uh, boots. Uh, some really sloppy boot paint, which, you know, you can see it clearly. It's the same with the other Sonic figure. It's not that good. I, come on. Come on, Tommy. You, you just got past the starting line and you're already messing up. Uh, I don't want to say that this is going to be a total letdown. But right now, I'm not seeing a difference between them and Jazzwares, which leads me to believe that this might just be a total letdown of a series. We'll just have to wait and see as time develops. Uh, man, this is like... I, I want to say something good about it, but I can't. I mean, don't get me wrong, the sculpting is pretty nice and very accurate to the show model, but, I mean, that's, that's really it. I guess the... Uh, paint for his chest right here is actually pretty good uh joints are actually tight as a matter of fact this one's pretty pretty really really tight but i mean it's it's just 
it's not what I really expected, unfortunately. I want to say something good, but I just can't. Uh, articulation is pretty much your standard five points of articulation. You got a swivel head, and you got arms that can go up and down. And they can also go in and out. It's a universal joint at the shoulders. And then the legs go up and down, and that's really it. He also has some holes at the bottom of his feet where he could actually stand on something. I'm guessing that's for the play set that I do not have at the moment, but I might eventually. I might. I don't know. I mean, it all depends whether or not I want like four or five Sonic figures of the same Sonic figure. Anyway, let's get to the feature, shall we? I've wasted enough time. This right here is pretty much the same thing as this right here, only a few differences. Like the fact that this right here has actually got a square. Because on the back, as you can see, this is the plain one. This one right here that I'm tapping came from the burn bot line. Burn bot set. So, uh, let's just set that aside. This right here, only feature will actually work with the uh, ripcord launcher, which is right here. Pretty much set up your Sonic figure in a running position, if you can. If you call that a running position. You will clip him in right here from the waist. Careful though, you don't want to chip your figure and ruin his already ruined paint job apparently. Like so, he's in. Then you will take the ripcord launcher right here very easily. Now we come to the real problem with this set. This is the ripcord itself. And the way that it's packaged in that small packaging is like, I mean, it really affects the way that this is going to work. I mean, I cannot even get this to fold out straight. Even a heat gun probably won't get this to fold out straight. And it's that very brittle plastic too, so this is not going to last forever. It is nicely sculpted though for whatever this is right here. It looks like it's got some, uh, you know, some of that sports tape on Sonic's uh, boots that he uses and the gloves. But, I mean, it's not painted, so there's no attention to detail to that. But, I'm guessing here, I'm guessing, I have not actually done this yet. This is actually live at the moment. I just took the figure out of package, and that's all I've done so far. I have not tried this out. I have no idea how this actually is supposed to work. I it by my left hand, which means Sonic's going to be on this right. And then I grab this, and when I'm all set, I just let it rip, right? Oh boy, I'm going to need some more space. Okay, what was exactly five minutes for me was only a split second for you. I had to find my higher tripod stand to get a better shot of this. Hopefully I won't miss the first time and have to re-edit this. So, as you can see, Burnbot is back there. He's about three feet away from the actual camera stand. So I got my ripcord launcher all set up. I've got Sonic in his spinning wheel of death. So I'm going to peg him in. Uh, this thing looks like it's got a lot of friction. As you can see, as I am pulling the ripcord, the wheel is actually moving on contact. There is, like, no give to this thing. So, we're going to get a lot of speed out of this, no doubt. Hopefully, I won't miss the target. So, I'm going to get it all adjusted to my liking. And hopefully, I will not miss. So, here we go. Son of a... God! Mother! Okay, I will be honest, I do not have the world's steadiest hands, obviously. But it shouldn't be this hard, it really shouldn't. Let's give it a whirl right here and hope for the best. Hit the target! Not exactly how I was expecting it to work, but that's pretty much the main deal right there. So guys, that's pretty much the feature and the whole review of the Ripcord Launcher with Sonic Figure. Or I said that the opposite way, it's Sonic with the Ripcord Wheel Launcher set. Uh, I don't know whether or not to say that this is a good buy because the price, while it is reasonable, the fact is that the feature, it's just, it's not that well executed it really has its flaws 
And the paint job and the quality on this figure is very lacking that it truly is Jazzwares-esque. I'm sorry to say it. If this is the starting point of Tomy and this is how they want to produce their figures from this point going on, they are doomed from the start. I really hate to say it, but it's true. This is no different from Jazzwares. Now, I will say it is nice to have these features, these play values to them, like action features or exploding robots, which he just exploded on me while I was trying to grab him, so let's just keep him out of the camera. I mean, this is pretty cool. I mean, deluxe sets, all that, I mean, you can't go wrong with it unless it's not well executed like this is here. Now, this is just my figure, okay? Your results may vary depending whether or not you actually buy this thing. But I will say this, uh, as of this moment right now, I don't want to do another Sonic Boom review until the other figures come in. I know I haven't done the actual Burnbot set yet. Ah, I said it right this time. I know I haven't reviewed that set yet. I will. But for now, I've got other things that I need to review. The list is just huge of stuff that I've got to review these coming few weeks. So when the other figures get here, the actual basic figures, then we'll talk Sonic Boom. But for now, that is it. I've got nothing else to say except that it's against your... I mean, it's up to you whether you want to get this or not. I mean, obviously kids are going to enjoy this, but when it comes to the adult collectors who like to mess around with their figures, it's not much of a play value if the feature doesn't work right. I mean, it, like I said, and I'm sure Wake Angel said this in his review, when this thing hits the ground, it loses all momentum very quickly. And you're not going to get enough speed to knock down an enemy or to make Burnbot explode the proper way. So, that's it. I got nothing else to say. It's up to you whether or not you want to add this to your ever-growing Sonic collection if you have one. So, questions, comments, leave them down below. Uh, please rate, subscribe, and share this video with everyone else. And until next time, that's me, Red X, signing out. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I will see you then. Yeah. Anyway, Stormtrooper is loaded in details and articulation, and let's get into this beautiful amount of articulation. He's got a ball jointed head. He's got a very nice pivoting joint to the neck as well. I mean, it is so crazy. Look at this. <laughs> This is crazy. I mean, this Stormtrooper can go in many places just with the head alone. Come on. Come on.